All right, at this time, let's make our car super cool. I want you to click on the front uh, with the W key so that your work plane's there. Grab a cylinder. Uh, grab one corner, hold shift, and shrink it down until it's about five. And then also shrink it in so that it's a little bit uh, shorter. I'm going to two. The neat thing is because we've got that work plane there, we can use the arrow keys to line it up. That is a good headlight. Do control D to make another headlight. Nudge it across. Uh, we need to add a top to our car. Let's do it like this by doing W and clicking on the work plane. I'm going to give you a fancy way to make it all nice and sloped. Put a nether box on top. It should already be the right width, but it's 20 high. Let's make it down to 10 high. And then I want you to simply grab the wedge and drag it out there. But we need to flip it twice by using flip, and we need to flip it this way, and we need to flip it this way so that it can cut off our roof. I'm going to shrink it down to 10 just like I did the other. And I'm going to shrink it into 10 this way just so it stays consistent. And then I'm going to line it up so it connects with the front of my car. Notice I had to nudge it this way once as well. And then I'm going to turn that into a hole. And then I'm going to do Control D to duplicate it. I'm going to move it to the other end. And I'm going to flip it this way. And I'm going to flip it this way. That's kind of funny, but it's not what I'm aiming for. Now I finally got it lined up so it's up top. And then I want my shape to be kind of like it has a black back window. So it's just going to be kind of goofy but also fun. And then select both pieces and group them. Notice now I've got a car with a kind of cool cabin uh, at the front of it. Let's real quickly add a fin just to wrap this up. I'd like you to grab the uh, wedge tool or the roof tool. Press W for work plane. Uh, so you're using the back. Let's grab a roof and let's put it back there on the back. Make it skinny. Make it short so that it looks like the pillar that you would put a spoiler on. Shrink the height a little bit so it's at an acceptable height. Whatever you think is cool. Do control D to duplicate and move it across.